We got to be about Li Denghui has been already died at his age of 97, he was after about a pivotal figure in Taiwan's transition to democracy. Found this for Focus Taiwan. First of all, I'm making you guys for this picture about Li Denghui, we've been showing you like this one. Now here's what it says for this paragraph. Here in Taipei, on July 30th, CNA, Li Denghui, who guided Taiwan through a rapid and peaceful transition to democracy while serving as Taiwan's president from 1988 to 2000, has died at the age of 97. The former president had suffered from deteriorating health, which caused him to reduce the frequency of his public appearances. On February 8, he was hospitalized at Taiwan Veterans General Hospital after choking while drinking milk. He was diagnosed with Pensula and had been intubated for over five months when the hospital confirmed he died from septic shock and multiple organ failure at 7.24 p.m. in the evening on Thursday. So Lee was born under Japanese colonial rule, evacuated in Japan after and in the United States and cultivated and as a successor to Kuomintang, which is started again for the KMT, President Chiang Kai-shek, but it is Jiang Tingguo, and the life he led in many ways reflected the completing powers and influence that held sway in Taiwan over the course of the 20th century. Now in this history, here is for this picture that we did here for next. This is the late President Jiang Tingguo sitting on the left and the Vice President Li Denghui sitting on the right. Great foreign digital military after being elected to lead the country in 1984. Let's scroll down for more of this one. Now he takes office as Taipei mayor in 1978. That's where Li Denghui and he's going to graduate shake hands. But that was about after the death of the Jiang Tingguo. So the late president Li Denghui center on the left. That already meets Fang Yun on the right, one of the students taking part in the 1990 while Lily moment at the president's presidential office. And what else we got here for? And Right behind the speech, it was at the Cornell University, founded by Ezra Cornell. Right here, as that he speaks at the Cornell University in 1995. And here's one on Twitter about this one. Here's what the Kuomintang wrote. The people are in my heart every moment of the day. That's what Li Zhenhui in 1995 at Cornell University, that he says. And here's what. Tai Yin right in the middle, right next to it, and down here, and I'm going to give you guys for this picture. This is the final known photo of Li Denghui and his wife Tsai Ta Yiwen, and it's on the front left. It's on here and the president uh, Taiwan, Taiwan Hui, but it is. That's Tai Yiwen and Chen uh, Jianwen Hui. And also Tai Yiwen wrote this one on Twitter that she says, this is a day of mourning for me and all Taiwanese with the passing of our former President Li Denghui. He laid the foundation for a democracy built on pride and our own identity, and his legacy will guide generations of Taiwanese to face the challenges ahead with their courage. There you are, and his, he in his presidential inauguration ceremony in 1986, and this is what we got here for it. You can relay news about the potential leader offers a continent of Li Denghui's passing. I'm going to put the link below on Focus Taiwan. If you have a stories about the Tai Yiwen, or actually, if you have a stories about Li Denghui, write down in the comments below. We always support sharing. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell to see all notifications about new videos and the latest video. Thank you very much for watching.